Hi everyone. So this is a video really that I didn't want to make, um, but I felt compelled to um, because of an issue that I had uh, with my Kenwood TS990 um, when I got it into the shack a couple of weeks ago. So um, on the left hand side, you can see my other Kenwood, my TS488HX, 200 watt rig. That rig actually requires two power supplies, and I'm just going to show you those now. Ex excuse the um, rat's nest of cables, etc. But those are the two power supplies that I operate the uh, 480. So you've got a Nevada 40M and a, and a, and a, and a 30M, so a 40 and 30 amp power supplies. Um, and with that, you get 200 watts. Uh, output uh, on the 480 with those two power supplies okay so um, uh, and I've been using that radio now for I don't know exactly how long but obviously many months with no problem at all on any band um, when I decided that I wanted a TS990 um, and figured out you know how I was going to get one um, one of the reasons I one of the reasons I made that decision was because I wanted 200 watts basically straight out of the box and obviously that's what you get with a 990 because um all the you know the, the power supply is built in to the radio itself um and that's the reason why i decided to go for the 990 or one of them versus other sort of similar spec rigs um, like the flex 6400 which is only 100 watts so um, I basically plugged the uh, Kenwood into the back of my M one of my MFJ matching units. You can see the one I use actually. It's the MFJ 948, um, which is spec at 300 watts maximum power handling, uh, and expected the 990 to work perfectly well through the rip, through, through the matching unit, uh, as as did the um, the TS 480. What actually happened was that. That was the case on all bands except top band, where above about 120 watts, I was getting reports of pretty poor audio. Um, it was clipping, um, and I was also getting reports of RF leaking into the AF. Um, but it was only occurring above about 120 watts on, on top band. So tried several things, ran several tests, um, even, although I was fairly sure it wouldn't make any difference, was set up, was put, put in a separate earth, uh, for the chassis for the rig chassis because i hadn't earthed the actual had a, i didn't have a separate earth for the chassis on any of my rigs or mfj did that made no difference and then um whilst i was sort of talking through it with uh, jeff m0 uhf um i sort of noticed that when i wasn't transmitting then the forward and reverse power needles on my mfj weren't actually seated at zero which i thought was a bit odd and then jeff then thought well actually why don't you put the take the mfj out of circuit so i took it completely out of circuit uh and then basically just matched the antenna using the um internal automatic matching on the 990 itself we then did a test on top band and the audio was perfect at 200 watts so by taking the mfj 948 out of circuit the audio problem immediately went away and it was a bit concerning because before i did that i ran i i just to check that the mfj hadn't in some way become damaged i i did a test with jeff using the ts480 at 200 watts and it was fine so i then started thinking wow is there something actually wrong with the 990 itself um and obviously that was disproven once the mfj was out of circuit so i'm in the slightly weird situation where i've got a kenwood ts480 that will supposedly put out 200 watts on sideband bearing in mind that on sideband voice you know, the forward power probably peaks at about 150, maybe, something like that, um, with no audio issues on top band. And when I do the same thing with the TS990, there is a problem. So basically, it would appear that 200 watt output with the 990 doesn't appear, appears to be a better, for whatever phrase it should be, 200 watts than the 200 watts I'm getting out, I'm getting from the 480. Either that or the um or the mfj 948 which is supposed to be spec at 300 watts power handling can't actually handle 300 watts i mean it's struggling it's struggling to handle 200 watts 
uh, on sideband on 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 a hundred and uh, um, on one hundred and sixty meters on, on on top band. So you know, I'm not really sure what the problem is there, but clearly there's either the MFJ isn't specified correctly, or the output of the Kenwood 480 isn't exactly what it should be. And it's interesting actually that Jeff, M0 UHF, he's got one of these rigs and he's been telling me for a long time that uh, although it says it's putting out 200 watts, it actually, he, he doesn't, he, he never believed it actually was. So, um, and I don't really think that's acceptable. Um, I think that at the end of the day, if you buy a piece of kit and it's specified, it should meet those specifications. And um, I, I, I don't, I don't think this is a case that the Kenwood 990 is putting out way more than 200 watts. I think that either the MFJ can't handle 300 watts properly on top band, um, because maybe on top band, I, well, it may be struggling to, to, to reach a match more so than it would on 80 or 40, etc. Or the Kenwood is is not putting out as much power as, the, as uh, or the Kenwood 480 is not putting out as much power as the Kenwood 990. And that's annoying. Well, it's all annoying because um, luckily I can operate top band uh, at 200 watts just by using the internal, the automatic matching, internal automatic matching in the 990. But I should be able to use it, uh, all my kit, to specification and clearly I can't. So um, I'd be interested to hear your comments on this, whether it's whether it's transceivers that don't put out an, a, as much power as you think they should or you have other models of matching units that aren't doing what they're supposed to do um either way you know it, it shouldn't really be the case so uh um i just wanted to make that point really and of course it would be really interesting if um if any of you guys out there have you have used the 990 and the 480 or just the 480 and you feel like i do that possibly it's not putting out as much power as uh, as you thought um i've heard rumors about the mfj's power handling specs to be a little bit on the um uh how can i put it um well a little bit on the hopeful side really um, um but uh you know again uh any comments regarding this you know would be would be interesting interesting to to, to read so anyway yeah there you go I'm only making this video because uh, I bought a radio and it didn't work as well as my old radio. It's supposed to be the same specification and either there's something wrong with the, with the, with the Kenwood spec uh, on the 480 or there's something wrong with the spec on the uh, on the MFJ. So um, uh, yeah, interested to hear your comments on that. Anyway, I hope you found that interesting. Um, thanks for watching. Keep safe, everybody. 73.